All right, so this is War Bands. What your objective is, is to find the camp that's act going to be active or lights up in the wilderness. Uh, these take place at various times. You can check the times on, say, like RS Wiki or something like that. They have a guide that's written out and thorough for stuff like this. Um, there's three different locations in the wilderness. There's the west, north, and east, as I call them. Other people call them the Lava Maze or uh, Dragon Isle or uh, Dark Warrior's Fortress. Um, but I, I just like to call them west, north, and east. It's easier to remember in, uh, in their placement. <clears throat> this is a non-safe event. Uh, you'll want to take weaponry with you, possibly. I'm doing the solo most of the time. I'm maxed out in the stats that you get for more bands, so I'm all done doing this now. Unless I max and decide to just PK PKers for fun. And right now I'm at an active war band. This hasn't been ruined yet. Uh, don't get too close to the actual beams. Or the warband will see you, spot you, and attack you, and that will just wreck everything that you're working toward. Uh, you, what you want to do is click the beam. Right now you're trying to disrupt it, and then you're trying to summon reinforcements. And you see this guy with a yak. You see the, these people around you just hop worlds or... Um, find a different warband or something because they're likely just going to try to kill you and uh, steal your loot. Uh, they suck. They've got nothing better to do with their lives. Don't bother trying to rationale their um, ideas or whatever they're trying to do. Um, it's not worth your time, effort, and frustration. You will get killed a lot doing warbands. Uh, some trips are a wasted trip. It's just going to be a fact. And other times you will see groups of these types of people just, you know, they're in a warband's clan or something, then, you know, a hop worlds or something. The best time to do this is probably when not a lot of people are on RS. Um, so whenever that might be. <laughs> uh, sometimes when there are a lot of people on RS, people aren't doing warbands. So it's just hit and miss with, you know, your likelihood of encountering other players doing this. Uh, I hopped worlds just then because I knew that guy was going to PK or whatever, and I couldn't find the resource I was looking for. The, the resources these carry are construction, smithing, I believe mining, um, herb lore, and farming. And I think that's all of them. And they, if you get the re a f nice inventory of resources and run back out of the wilderness with these, they give you quite a good chunk of XP. And that's the whole goal of this. It's a risk versus balanced with reward. Um, I carry three items or so. If I get attacked, then I ought to retaliate, and I'm not going to you know, lose my items or anything. But if you attack someone else first, you're going to get sculpted. And as soon as you start looting a warband camp, you're going to be sculpted also anyways. Uh, found another camp. There's, you know, other resources to look at. And I was looking for, um, when you hop worlds, the warband camp may be in the same location or it may not. You just have to look for it or whatever. And... If you have the Wilderness Sword 4, it can teleport you right to the location. But if you lose that, you have to to get Collodion, I believe it is, out in the Mage Arena Bank area. You have to pay him to get it back. It's a good chunk of like 400k or so, I think it is, to have it returned to you. Uh, so it's better just to check and see where it wants to teleport you and then run, you know, bank it and then run out to the Wilderness instead of losing it unless you, you're not intimidated or worried about losing it. Uh, the other tips you really need on this are just luck, um, world hop. Uh, you can do three of these in a day. So if you're quick and you get one more band camp looted, you can loot another one if you help worlds and find one fast enough. Uh, it helps to have other people on other worlds also looking for similar warband camps. That way you can communicate between your friends and 
find them faster. Sometimes that's where Warband friend chats come in handy, but you know, most of the time I I don't know. I don't try with Warband uh, friend chats of Warbands. They usually want you to dress and do certain things their way, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I just soloed these uh, myself, and I had about the same success rates uh, as I would have with one because. Even in friends chats for warbands, you get rogues that just kill people anyways, or uh, the entire friend chat wants to, you know, just loot new people. Uh, there, there are good, you know, warband friends chats out there. I'm not saying there aren't, but in my experience, they weren't super helpful. Really, it's better just to go alone or with a group of like five people and try to find an empty world uh, I'm sure there's it's basic you just want to watch the D&D timers uh, you can set your distraction diversion timer to notify you when warbands is going to start five minutes ahead and they start the top of the hour all the time uh, they're about six hours apart so that's kinda troublesome in terms of getting everything you're trying to get now I'm looting, you know, this camp, this supply tent, and getting the items. My inventory is filling up with uh, these imaginary items. You can't teleport away, or your items will disappear. You won't get the XP, and it counts as having looted a warband for the day. So don't do that. <laughs> you have to run all the way back out of the wilderness, and that's the challenge of avoiding other players and not getting killed. Uh, you saw me attack that guy. I was trying to click the tent. That that's just misclicks. So you got to be careful of those. They happen. Um, he was nice about it in that instance, so I don't think he was trying to PK or BPK because most of the time, you know, you, they'll have a yak if they're PKers. Um, and lately, they've been wearing full uh, dragon. Uh, royal dragon crossbows and stuff like that. It's a basic, basic principle to this mini game. And wh where you start is Edgeville. You'll want to start there. You'll want to end there as well, because that's where the character is that you turn in these supplies that you gather for all the XP that you get. Um, I was in level 98 when I was you know rounding up my last few skills that it supplies and it'll give you about if a full inventory will give you about 111 110 thousand XP for a run and this only lasts 15 minutes so warbands dilapidate after 15 minutes of starting no matter what so if you're out there any later than that it's pointless you're not going to find an active warband or an inactive one to even loot so you won't have time uh, which is where world hopping comes in handy. If you manage to loot your first warband successfully, you can loot a second one as well. And this is the NPC that you'll talk to to, you know, uh, ask about warbands and turn in your rewards. And he will give you the XP. And that's all there is to it. Oh, 118k. Excuse me. <laughs> That's really it.